Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be providing information on how to publish a research paper. So, let's get started. Basically, I've divided the entire procedure into four steps. First is determination of topic and specification, conducting the study of public research, organizing and presenting the work in proper format, and finally, publishing the paper in a journal. Now, let's dig into the first phase that is the determination of topic and other specifications. For publishing a research paper, the, your topic could be a research and development work, a concept that you are working, uh, you have developed or working upon case studies or comparative studies. So in this phase basically you need to finalize your area of work. Once you are done with this step, commence with the second phase that is conducting the research and study. You need to prep present proper facts and observation in the paper and for that it is essential that you conduct proper research, analysis, literature review and experiments. Basically uh, in the paper you need to include what stuffs you, are, you have done or what your concept basically correlates to and for that you need to have some firm evidences that uh, evidences or observations or set of facts that actually lead to the same conclusion. So having the, this phase completed the start the third phase that is organize and present the work in proper format this is the phase where your paper actually takes a shape this process simply involves documentation observe of a concept of observations calculation diagrams etc in the proper format that is specified by journals typically an i triple or single column format are used by indian journals by most indian journals and you can find the details of this format on the website of the publication of the publication you intend to pro have your paper published through. Now while document documenting the uh, uh, research paper you need to take proper care that your work is genuine and not a, a copy paste material from other people's work. Uh, provide proper citations and references to the work of people in case you have used any anyone else work like uh, if you are using some US patents or other journals or other books or some interview you need to provide a proper citation for that so that you don't, uh, don't uh, end up uh, offending the copyrights or the rights of the author that have uh, already published the work so while document uh, so you need to be extra cautious while in this phase because if you do this uh, you take up someone else's work and just uh, copy and paste it your uh, paper might be rejected by the publication on account of copyright infringement or plagiarism check so next is the final stage publishing in a journal for this you need to select a publication basically there are a number of thousands of publications available online and uh, hard copy versions there are two types of journals basically open source and subscription based. So basically what the final stage involves is submission of your works either by email or upload. After once you have written and selected the publication you intend to publish a paper into, you need to give them your work like hand over them your either either by email or by upload on online uploads different journals have their different means of operations like uh, LCV or science direct would require you to upload your journal upload your entire manuscript online whereas uh, IGI or ICT requires you to uh, email them your manuscript once you have emailed them your manuscript or uh, uploaded or transmitted your manuscript to them or uh, the manuscript is the paper that you intend to publish they actually uh, have a review of your paper to check whether you have everything is in the proper format they want because the journalist bas generally basically consists of a number of uh, papers from different authors and it is essential for them to maintain a uniformity and uh, quality of the over their content so they actually review your paper once the review is done they would actually provide you a uh, reviewers guidelines that uh, about shortcomings and upgrade uh, and things that you need to modify or revise in your paper in order to suit their requirements once you have uh, done all these changes you again need to uh, provide them with the modifications after the having the modifications done they will actually accept your paper and after having accepted the paper you need to make the final payment the payment for publication fee 
that could be done online offline in india most, uh, mostly it's done by neft rtgs neft basically all the uh, chalan payment in banks <coughs> now the final publication once you have completed all the procedures ha ah, it also involves a few uh, copyright agreements signing of few copyright agreements like you have to actually give the publication an authority that you have uh, you have uh, submitted your paper on your own will and the uh, publication has rights to publish this paper so once you have done with all these uh, steps the publication will then uh, publish a paper in uh, either online or hard copy or both and provide you with us a publication certificate <laughs>